Please, I am gonna be so late for work. And if I want to avoid this torrential rainstorm and avoid getting wet, then I need to go. You have got to be kidding me. Quick! Oh my gosh, umbrella! But let's not open it inside because that is unlucky. This right, guys! I'm aboard! And now, let's head to work. It's up, Rocky! Yes, yes! Whoa! What the heck? That guy nearly just dropped that bucket on me. Owie! It's almost like he was trying to get me wet. Huh? Wait. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Nice try, bud, but you ain't getting me wet today. This item, guys, it looks like I made it all the way to work without getting wet. Yes, yes! You have got to be kidding me. You know, guys, I really thought that just maybe today I would actually make it to my job without getting wet. Uh-oh. It's Mr. Chewsbury chewing on a Reese's Pieces. Do a light! Yes, well, sir, it's because of the awful weather, can't you see? Wait, seriously? No, you are done! But, sir, I really need this job. How else am I supposed to spend all my money here on spicy chips? Sorry, my decision is final. Now grab your things and leave. Wait. What? You mean I'm actually being fired from my job at the grocery store? Like, this is all I ever known. That's right, I guess I should say a real goodbye to the most important things here. La Spice. I'm going to miss you. Now I have to go, otherwise I'm gonna bust out in tears. Oh my goodness, let me grab my stuff from the locker. This right, bread. That's all I brought, guys, just... Bread! Anyways, let me put this bread in my pocket and save my bread for later. Anyways, guys, I guess it's time to get out of this place. Wait, what the heck? What is this old guy doing? Huh? Wait, for sale? What the heck? Does that mean this old guy is selling something here? Maybe these old apartments? What the heck? Wait, sir, why are you selling this? I'm too old! The stairs are killing me! Wait, the stairs are trying to kill you? Yeah, they're really scary. I can see why. I mean, I'm just too weak do this? Well, you don't have to be mean about it. Anyways, guys, if I could buy that building right up there, I could open up my own grocery store with the really big nostrils. Mm -hmm. How much would you like for your apartment? Hmm. One thousand Robux. One thousand? Oh my gosh, it's a deal. That's right, I can totally afford one thousand Robux for such a beautiful apartment. That's right. Here you go, sir. Ooh, a whole bag of moolah for you. Yes, yes. Idiot. Wait, what the heck? Why did he call me an idiot? Oh my gosh, that old man can run real fast. Anyways, guys, it is time for us to go upstairs and check out this beautiful apartment. Oh my gosh. That's right, guys. It smells like a thousand bags of poop. So gross. Anyways, let's check out what I... Boy. It's disgusting! This like literally nobody can live in here. Huh? Was that fat rat? Okay, maybe fat rat can live in here, but guys, this is way too stinky for anyone else. And if I want to build a good grocery store, then we need to get to work. <laughs> Guys, it's beautiful! This side, it turns out this place used to be a skate shop. Wow. To turn this place into a beautiful 7-Eleven, there are three things we need to do. Number one, we need to add some shelves. Like this. Okay, okay, looking good. Right, next step to make a good 7-Eleven is some size. And to do that, we just go like this. Okay, okay, looking even better. And now finally, we need to fill these shelves with some food to sell. And ladies and gentlemen, we do that by going like this. Oh my gosh, guys! This is so epic! And we have pumpkins for sale. Also, ATMs for people to withdraw all their moolah and spend it. That's right. And oh my gosh, it looks like we have our first customer! Woohoo! That's right, sir. Please come inside. The doors are open. That's right. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually have our first customer. Uh oh what is he gonna go for, guys? Wait, is he gonna pick up a piece of delicious pizza? Oh no! 
doesn't like the pepperoni pizza. Oh, the meat pizza. What the? Okay, he's getting a Coca-Cola. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. I'll just stand here ready to take his money. Oh, my gosh. One of these, fam. Huh? No problem, bud. Thank you for the money. Have a nice day. Cheers, mate. Wow. I think that guy could have been British. Anyways, guys, I made my first bit of money from my 7-Eleven. That's right. I can't believe I'm a proud business owner. That's right. Anyways, we should probably get back in the store in case we have more customs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Another customer already? How can I help you, big nose? I mean, big nose, uh, nose, big. Oh, oh, geez, who knows what I'm trying to say right now? Hey, I don't suppose you have any jobs open. Wait a minute. Jobs? I mean, I am expecting this place to get really busy. And this guy can make the perfect employee. But I will only let you get the job if you let me honk that nose. Deal. Honk. Yeah. It looks like he's dancing. Okay, but I'm going to need you to put... Put on your official 7-Eleven uniform. So please take this and go out the back to get changed. That's right, guys. I can't believe I already have my first employee. And uh, I'm going to need it. That's right. The queue's literally lining up outside the door. Anyways, guys. Ooh, Toby, you are meant to be. That's right. You are looking so sweet in that 7-Eleven uniform. Anyways, bud, we need to get to work. And I have the perfect first thing for you to do. Yes, yes. That's it, Toby. You're doing a really good job. That's right. This side is looking so sick of mode. Literally, everyone is going to know we're up there now. Charlie, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Chewsbury. We are putting up our new sign. New sign? Huh? That's right, Mr. Chewsbury. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? You open a 7-Eleven upstairs? That's right, Mr. Chewsbury. <laughs> it will be a complete failure. Wait, what do you mean it will be a failure? You really think people will buy it from up there? Well, actually, sir, unless you had a good look down the road right there, I have a queue out the door. <laughs> yes, yes. Wait, what? So if you don't mind, we will go back to work now, right, Toby? Oh, my gosh, Toby. And serve some cuss. Customers. Yeah. This Toby, oh my gosh. Are you okay, bud? That looked like a really bad fall. Anyways, we need to get up and serve these customers. That's right. I'm fast, guys. Oh my gosh. They are literally all coming in one by one. That's right, guys. We're about to get really busy. Oh my goodness, Toby, get the stacking shelves. And I will start taking Lemula. $10. Thanks. $20. Hooray. $50. At $265. Jolly good! And just like that, we are done. That's right, time to lock the store. Just like this. Perfect. And change the open sign to close. That's right! Sickle mode! That was such a successful day. Right, Toby? How much money did we actually earn? 2,800 buckaroos in total. Wowzers! 2,800? Oh my gosh. Toby, that is so good! Here's an extra $100 for your work. Wow, we! Now, Toby, go and get some rest! That's that's right, guys. I need to get up nice and early to restock this shop for tomorrow. That's right. So let's turn off the lights like that and lock the door. And now, guys, let's go get my beauty sleep so I can make lots of more moolah tomorrow. Wait. What the heck is this? Huh? What is this ugly woodwork doing underneath my beautiful 7-Eleven? Oh, my gosh. Mr. Chewsbury. What is going on? On here? Huh? Why has he boarded up this whole place? This makes no sense. That's right, Callie. Look what you've done. Wait, what I done? What is this guy talking about? Since you opened that 7-Eleven, I haven't had a single customer. Wait, really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Serves you right, sucker. Well, it would be a shame if something bad were to happen to it. Wait. What the heck? Why is he walking off backwards all mysteriously? That's right. He won't be able to look both ways. Anyways, let's ignore what he just said. Because, well, he's a little bit strange. And let's go catch some beauty sleep. I got a really, really busy day tomorrow. Yes, yes. with a van full of new supplies to fill up our 7-Eleven and outsell 
Mr. Chewsbury, whose shop looks like it's reopened. What, what the heck? Anyways, let's ignore his mischievous laugh and go inside, huh? Sir! Sir, we've had a break-in! Wait, hey. Breaking? Toby, what are you talking about right now? Oh my gosh! Please don't tell me this is true. Please tell me it's April Fool's Day! My 7-Eleven! It's ruined! Fuck! Oh, that's right, even Toby is doing a sad dance. What the heck? I worked so hard on this! Who would do this? So meaty! I know exactly who would do this, Toby! And his name is Mr. Chewsbury! That's right, look at this guy laughing! Oh my gosh, Mr. Chewsbury! Huh? Don't play dumb! I know it was you! Prove it! You know what? I have a better idea. That's right, guys. As you can see, I have two options right now. One is to rebuild my 7-Eleven and beat him out of business doing the right thing. And the other option is, well, to get a tag and blow his shop to the ground. But that wouldn't be very nice. Sir, I got the tag. Ooh, perfect. Now let's take this sucker down. Oh my gosh, you did such a good job! That's right, guys, and it looks like now there is no grocery stores left in all of Brookhaven. Ah! Anyways, I better go save those spicy chips and get the heck out of here. Because, guys, spicy never die!